And with that, we are now joined live in the studio with the winning team of tonight's Academy Sports and Outdoors Game of the Week, the Sockesty Braves. Coach Doug Ewing and his team joined now by Mark Haggard. Mark, take it away. The Sockesty Braves are in the house tonight. Wow, they worked overtime, double overtime, to win tonight's game over the West Florence Knights. We're going to get things kicked off. I, I didn't stay for overtime, so you're going to have to. Oh, you have to walk me through it. But first, let's have the Sockesty cheerleaders take us through a cheer. Ladies. Hey, you. You know the story. So tell the whole wide world this is Braves territory. Hey, you. You know the story. So tell the whole wide world this is Braves territory. Hey, you. You know the story. So tell the whole wide world this is our territory. All right. I like that. A lot of, lot of spirit. Very good. Coach Doug Illing joins us now, uh, now in what, second year now at uh, Sockesty High. Uh, seven and two, and welcome to back to Class 4A. Yeah, hey, it's, uh, it's been a ride now. I'll tell you, it's been good competition, and, uh, you know, we've enjoyed it. We've got a good bunch of boys that are competing really hard against uh, some of the best competition in the state. A lot of people didn't expect as much out of you this year, moving up in classification, and then, a uh, oh, man, Jordan. Jordan Hodge, wow, what a quarterback. Everyone said, oh, Hunter Renfro's gone. These guys are going to be down this year. Not so. 7-2 and two overall record, as Brandon mentioned. And you're 2-1 and one in the region, and you're right on the doorstep of making the playoffs if you win uh, one of your last two games. Yeah, Jordan's done a great job for us. And uh, we told him coming in, don't try to be Hunter Renfro. We can't replace him. Be Jordan Hodge and uh, be it the best that you can, and you're a good one. He's a competitor. He's tough and hard nose and uh, be, be you. And uh, that's what he's done, and he's done a great job of it. Let's talk about Big Red in overtime. <laughs> Let's talk about Big Red. Angelo Sauter, huh? Scored a couple of overtime touchdowns. Walk us through the overtime. We didn't see that video. Well, they determined to take him out of the ball game early on, and uh, it was really tough to get him rolling uh, for two for two halves. You know, we couldn't get him in the end zone, and uh, you know, uh, waited till uh, our, our little goal line series down there. We call it goal line competition there at the end, uh, and uh, offense versus defense for ten yards, and uh, Big Red got it rolling. He did a good job. Boy, you play that smash-nosed, hard-nosed football, and so does West Florence. Yes, sir. And th those were two Rams button heads tonight. Yeah, it was two good defensive ball teams uh, with good offenses, but uh, two defenses that were very stingy, very well coached. I thought uh, they did a great job of taking uh, our offense off the field and, and taking away our weapons. And, uh, you know, we didn't turn it over there, and, and we kept getting turnovers from them and, and putting our offense back out there. And uh, lo and behold, we just we held on long enough. And then Bowman Hiller, their quarterback, got them back into the game through the air. Yeah. Surprise. And we all thought it was going to be a ball control running game. And you guys tried to make it that. And then Jordan was throwing some balls. Yeah, well, you know, we were in good good position there. And uh, kid just went up and made a great play right over top of us. And, uh, you know, give him credit. You know, sometimes you got better athletes to make better plays right there. And he did. And uh, But no, no fault to our kids they, uh, in position to make those plays. And uh, we'll be better because of it. P.S. Jordan Hodge is more than just an option quarterback. He can throw the football. Now, the pressure is on. He's got to throw the HTC game ball to this week's winner, Sam McKinney. Come on now. All right. Now, let me tell you why Sam McKinney gets the game ball. Three interceptions. You saw them all. A fumble recovery, yanks it out and takes it away, and they go in to score. A big game by you. You don't make it. To, they don't make it to overtime unless Sam McKinney's there. Great game for you. You get the HTC game ball. Your thoughts? You know, it was a uh, great game, but uh, first thing, you want to want to say thank you to uh, all the coaches and all the trainers for uh, taking care of us, uh, but also really just want to, uh, you know, thank the Lord for blessing all of us with the opportunity to come out and play this game. Um, and for that, I really don't want this ball in my hands much longer. So I'm going to tell a quick story. But uh, but we lost a, uh, a football player earlier in the season. And uh, and it was pretty sad. And we've all been playing for him. And there, uh, there's four boys that have, uh, you know, they've, they come out every day. And, uh, and they bust their butt for this kid. And uh, I want to call them out. And one of them over there is uh, Braxton Elvis, uh, Zach Kane, Taylor Carnap, and Jacob Necessary. Uh, got a lot of respect for you boys, and I really do. What's the young man's name? Peyton Rolex. Okay. Yeah, um, I want to talk a little something about him. Yeah, oh my gosh, he was a great kid. Uh, 
had a smile like no other, you know, and really sad situation, but, uh, you know, but the kid was awesome and, you know, and I feel for, for his family. So, uh, this ball, I want, uh, these kids right here to, uh, to take it and, uh, somehow get it to Peyton's mom and tell her that, uh, this is from the Braves. Let's hear that young man's name again that passed away. Peyton Rolex. We'll certainly be missed, and the Sockisty Braves in the house. Sam, I can't let you get away. You're an all-zoner, and you know what you did? You played your way onto the all-zone team again this year. You're a lock. <laughs> I, I guess uh, that's not a surprise to you. You've got a fork in your hand. You're coming to eat with us. You've already eaten Sonic tonight, right? Everybody's full of Sonic? Huh? You ate your burgers? You got your shirts? Who's looking at you college-wise? Um, Georgia Southern, uh, that's honestly my primary school right now that they've been uh, pretty interested in me but you know some some other schools that you know aren't very big but uh like i said just blessed to have the opportunity to to go play you know ball at another level all right sam keep up the good work you've got a couple more tough ones awesome. week 10 and week 11. Uh, 4a goes 11 weeks you go that extra week and of course you've got to go Ooh, south florence is coming in they're undefeated in the region you could maybe uh sneak in there and steal this region well, we, we've been planning for the last three weeks of the year, you know, trying to play at a higher level each and every week. And uh, we told our kids the last three weeks, you know, we got to be ready to play our very best. And, uh, you know, I think we're playing our very best right now. You know, we, we believe defense wins championships and our defense is playing its best ball right now. And uh, keep getting the offense the ball more opportunities and good things are going to happen. Okay, you've got South Florence coming to you next week, and then you finish up at Sumter, and that, <laughs> the Sumter Gamecocks are no joke either. Well, if you want to win it, you got to you got to beat the best ones, and uh, you know this time of year everybody's experienced. Uh, you don't have inexperienced players now, so everybody's got you know some game experience under their belt, and uh, you know have been put in crucial situations. So uh, everybody's going to be at their best this time of year, and it's the team that executes the best that's going to win. So. Sockesty is postured to make a run, folks. Seven and two right now, two and one in the region. They are in the end zone studio. Guys, let's hear it. All right, guys, congratulations. A big win for the Braves tonight over West Florence. We want to thank, of course, Sonic for uh, bringing the food here to feed those guys after that big win tonight. And hats off to Sam McKinney. What a classy, classy young man for what he just did here on the end zone.